Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class today. We are going to continue on our leveling computation, which we've actually started. Um, on our last video, we tried to show you how to what how to compute for your allowable misclosure for any particular leveling exercise using the different order of either first order, second order, third order, or maybe the control leveling. However, on this particular video, we are going to show you how you are going to do what how you are going to apply it on your computation. Now we've been able to know that the um, allowable misclosure for this particular leveling is what 0.009 so having known that we now want to compare it with what we got on our leveling exercise so the first thing we are going to do is that what this is actually the reduced level we got for the last point and this is actually the given height of that point so we are assuming that this our last point is what is a benchmark so if this our last point is a benchmark that means it already has height so since it has height we are going to compare the height we got from our maybe computation maybe from the field work to the already established or the given height which is the height of the word of the benchmark so the height of the benchmark we got here is what 133.634 whereas the height we computed was what 133.640 that means there was actually there is actually a difference so the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to compete for that difference to know what the difference is then we are now going to compare that difference to what to the allowable difference that means the difference that we the allowable misclosure rather that means the difference here should not be more than this it should be this or less than this so the next thing we are going to do is what we are going to find their difference therefore the difference will be 133 point what six four zero minus one three three point six three four so we have the difference to be zero point zero zero six that's actually the difference i hope we are together the first thing we did was that we just found there we just computed for their difference and we found out that it's what it's zero point zero zero six now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to know what sign this correction is going to have we are going to know what the sign this correction is going to have so the sign this correction is going to have is what if you look at it this is 0 0.640 and this is 0 0.630 634 rather you know 640 is more than what 634 which definitely means we are going to subtract from this to get this are we together please it's very simple this is 640 this is 634 so if you want to get 634 from 640 that means you are going to remove 6 from it that's just a simple definition therefore the correction here will have a negative sign are we together please are we together it's all right so the correction here has a what as a negative sign that has been established so any other correction we are going to get here will be what will be negative so having established that the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to know how to distribute this word this misclosure up the station or down the station the no matter how we want to go about it so we already know that our misclosure for this particular leveling exercise is what is 0.006 meter that's the misclosure and then the allowable misclosure or the misclosure we are not supposed to exceed yes the misclosure we are not supposed to exceed is what 0.009 so we can see that 0.006 is within 0.009 that means this particular exercise is okay to according to the allowable misclosure now the next thing we are going to distribute this error so now distributing the error the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to understand how we are going to distribute the error so there is a simple formula that says the misclosure over either the total number of backside or total number of foresight so we have total number of what of backside or foresight because they are always equal times the consecutive station number consecutive what station number 
don't don't get it confused you might just look at it maybe checking it in a particular textbook and they might not state it like this the reason why i stated it like this is i want it to be relatable so that you can really understand what it is because that's what we want to do in solving solutions we are trying to bring what is in the textbook for you so that you can understand it in a relatable term now this might not be how you will see it on the textbook or any material you are using but now let's see how it will not be different from what you saw or maybe what you will see on your textbook now the first thing is what the misclosure your misclosure is actually this was 0.006 we got so we have something like what 0.006 over the total number of back sides or total number of four sides this actually can stand for the total number of stations because the total number of back sides is always equal to what the total number of four sides and that is actually the total number of stations where you set up so the next thing we are going to come here we are going to check if the total number of back sides is actually equal to the total number of what or four sides so we have one two three four as our back side and we have one two three four as our four side that means the total number of back side is actually equal to the total number of what four side and which means this total number of back side which is actually the point where you set your instrument up will now be what the total number of your stations and that is equal to what five are we together please then times the consecutive station number this consecutive station number what do i mean by that this consecutive station number means either station one station two station three station four or what or station five that is what this consecutive station number means i hope it is clear please if you miss if you miss it at any point you can always pause the video because that's what i used to tell you guys just pause the video make sure you go back you get it and then you still come forward again because that's the most important thing you can do for yourself you need to understand it because we are trying to give you the explanation in a very simple term now how do you say we want to distribute this error either upwards or downward just distribute the error the first thing is that misclosure divided by what the total number of stations and the total number of stations is the same thing as what the total number of back side or total number of four side because your back side the total the total back side you have is equal to the total back the total four side you have and we've actually gotten that we have one two three four and we have one two three four that means we have four back sides and we have what four four sides so if we have four back sides and we have four four sides that means it's actually also the total number of stations that we are set up now which is 0 0.006 divided by four i'm sorry this was a mistake divided by four times the consecutive vote times the consecutive station number the consecutive station number is what station one station two station three station four there is no station five here are we together please it's all right so now how do we go about it the next thing is that we have 0 0.006 divided by four which is this we already have here divided by four so we have 0 0.002 0 0.002 now i would advise us to store this value on our calculator because as you can see this particular quotient will be used to multiply one it will be used to multiply two multiply three multiply four independently therefore it will be very good to store it on your calculator so you don't have to be typing it so how do you store i can still tell you again we say shift store then we choose any letter of the alphabet so we are going to put it on a so by the time we say alpha a and we recall alpha a we have what 0 0.002 therefore this 0 0.002 has been stored on what on the letter a now let's move on i will store that on your calculator you know the first one will be what times one the second will be times two times three and what times four now how do you indicate or how do you affect this on your table here now if you look at this you will find out that this first point is what is a benchmark is that not yes this first point is a benchmark and this benchmark will not have any correction therefore the correction here is what 0, 0.000 so if it doesn't have a correction that means the corrected level will still be the same thing as what we have here as what 
that will still be what the corrected level we will have here so having determined that the next thing we are going to do now is that we are now going to know what our station one is what our station two is now how do you know your station one how do you know your station two your station one is actually this first this setup here now this setup here is actually what your station one because if you look at it now after this your what do you call it after this your benchmark the subsequent observations is where your station one will start because on this your benchmark is actually your station one however you cannot apply correction to what to the benchmark therefore it is zero zero so the correction for the next stations is going to start what on the next point the correction for the first for the first point rather is going to start on the next point after your benchmark are we together please it's all right so by the time you now look at it we have this as our next station so if you now look at it now so we have the first correction will be on this point which is what 0 0.006 divided by 4 which is 0 0.002 times 1 so 0 0.002 times 1 will still give us what 0 0.002 which is 0 0.002 are we together now if you look at it it might look a bit confusing that uh, uh, why is it not on station two it is not on station two because when you set on this on this particular point when the instrument was on this particular point observation was made to this point when the instrument was set up rather not on this point when the instrument was set up and the staff read the staff was there as the staff was on this point and they, they move the staff to this point again on that particular instrument setup these two observations were made i think that's a better explanation these two observations were made therefore it is assumed that the correction is to these two points but we cannot apply correction to our benchmark because it's already corrected so the first correction will be what will be applicable to this are we together because on that first setup observation was made to this point and another observation was what was made to this point are we together it's all right now the next thing is we have 0 0.006 divided by 4 times 2 so remember we've already put this 0 0.006 divided by 4 we've actually stored it on our calculator the quotient we got was what 0 0.002 which is actually stored as letter a so by the time we multiply it by 1 we still get the same thing the next thing we are going to multiply it by 2 so we have 0 0.003 so that will be the next correction now how do you now get the next correction the after the instrument was moved to this to a new point this first observation was made so after this first observation was made another observation was made to this point which now means our second point so we have what we have 0 0.003 Please, I hope you are actually following it up. Don't get it confused. If you don't really understand how the back side and the four sides were explained, you can check on the other video on the channel where we did justice to that. It's all right. So now, the next thing we want to explain now is that if you now look at it, after this, the new setup, this back side was taken and this four side was also taken. That means, since we are seeing another back side, it means that the instrument was shifted at this particular point but we still need to keep our leveling staff to take to take our back site on this point that's why you're seeing this foresight and this back site on this particular on this particular line here so that has been explained now the next thing we want to do is what we want to get for station three so we come to our calculator we edit we say station three and we have 0 0.005 now this station three will be more interesting for us to see because it's actually having a longer observation before we got to a new backside. So we have what? 0 0.005. Now this 0 0.005 will be for this next station as well. Because it was on this particular setup that these observations were made. On this particular setup, observation was made to this point, to this point, to this point as well. So we have 0 0.005. Are we together please? So it was when they now got to this point, it was now the maybe 
the line of sight was not intervisible or they need to move the instrument station or whatever the case was because there is a back sight here which means they move the instrument station and there is a foresight so this is actually a turning point so the instrument station was moved so since the instrument station was moved they will have to do what they will have to observe to that last one again and that will be our back sight in this new case that will be our back sight so the next thing now we say times four so we edit this and we say times four so by the time we say times four we have 0 0.006 so we have what 0 0.006 are we together it's all right so we have 0 0.006 so now this 0 0.006 will now be from this station from this point rather to this point remember that this was the new setup after this foresight there was a new setup and when the new setup when the instrument was set up on that new point this back side was taken so when this back side was taken it was still on that particular setup this intermediate side was taken and this foresight was taken are we together please that's why you find out that this correction was used for this station and for this station i hope you really got something on how to distribute the error please if you miss it at any point you can always pause the video rewind get it and try to come again because the most important thing is for us to what is for us to give you solution and it will not be very good if we did not actually give you the solution so please you have to anytime you have a challenge just pause the video and then get it before you continue all right so now we have been able to know how to what how to distribute the error now the next thing is the signs the signs so remember that the first correction here or the first miss the first correction rather we have a negative sign which means the rest also have what have negative signs which means the rest also have what have negative signs so if the rest of them have negative signs that means we are going to subtract these values from our what our reduced level to actually get the corrected level are we together it means we are going to subtract these values from this reduced level to get what the corrected level which means for the first point we have 131.775 minus 0 0.002 which is what we have what 131.773 are we together so that's how we are going to subtract or let's say that's the computation we are going to do until we get to this last point so for this particular video i'm going to leave this column empty for us i want us to compute these values get the get the values and then we should write the answers on the comment section that will make me understand that okay you actually got it up to this point so what we are going to do is very simple that's why i did the first one you say this minus this because the sign is negative the reason why the sign is negative is that from this point the sign is negative and we've actually explained why the sign is negative so when you know that the sign is negative at this point then the subsequent signs are also negative so how do you get the last the corrected or maybe the final level is by subtracting this correction from your from your reduced level so i'll leave these other points for us the viewers please try and compute it and then leave the word and leave the answers on the comment section so that we know that okay you actually got it up to this point so thanks for coming to class i hope on this video you we are able to what to understand how you are going to distribute your what your correction and also how we are going to get your corrected level and then we also on our last video we also explained how you are going to go about this uh, misclosure formula and uh, the first order second order third order and then the control level how you are going to get your what the allowable misclosure so this um, is actually fun thanks for coming to class i really hope because sincerely i can't just stop saying it that i really hope that you get um, solutions to this particular problem and please if you have any challenge the comment section is there please drop your questions and we'll get back to you and you can always reach out to us on any of our social media and those that is actually on our description section there so thanks for coming to class and then um, i wish you well in your surveying career either as a student or as a professional so until i see you again make sure you stay safe and have a nice time